Rob Calloway, you see, back at cruiserweight. 57 victories, seven losses, one draw, 45 wins by way of knockout. Dare I say it, all seven of those losses against very, very good opposition. Facing Doug Kaluza in this 10-round cruiserweight bout, a pound lighter at 198 pounds, out of Lincoln, Nebraska. 16 victories, six losses, one draw, nine victories by way of knockout. Let's now send it up to the ring. Hold it now, hold it now, hit it! Calloway making his way into the ring. Out of St. Joseph, very popular there. Very popular here in Kansas City as well. An impressive array of titles that he's won. Intermediate level championships. Rob Calloway, one time top 10 in the world by all recognized major sanctioning bodies as a cruiserweight. Went up to heavyweight BJ and now back down the cruiser. He did straight up to heavyweight for a while, straight up north of the big boys and uh, found that things get a little tougher up there. Uh, the power's a little different and uh, me having fought heavyweight also and then moving back down to cruiserweight, I find myself in a similar position that Rob was in. Uh, the heavyweights, to, to be a champion, it's definitely, uh, <laughs> you gotta have the right type of body and I think Rob's better suited to cruiserweight. He should do very well here. And like I said, he was in the ring with guys like Hasim Rahman. I mean, the best heavyweights in the world, so certainly he uh, he tasted some of the best power that the heavyweight division had to offer. I'm going to mention a guy who might even have more power than Hasim Rahman is uh, Ruslan Chagaya. Yeah. That was his last fight. Great prospect, 2001 world amateur champion. Knocked out all five of his opponents every single night uh, at the world championships. Ruslan Chagaya just beat John Ruiz, something to look out for in the future. We're scheduled for 10 rounds, cruiserweight division. Here's our ring announcer, Stephen Bear. Ladies and gentlemen, our co-main event of the evening. Ten rounds in the cruiserweight division. Tonight, fighting out of the red corner this evening, wearing the stars and bars trunks with a fight record of 64 wins, seven losses, one draw, and 49 coming by way of knockout. He is an 11-time boxing champion. This is the first time in seven years that he has gone down to the cruiserweight division. Fighting out of St. Joseph, Missouri. Give it up for the American prize fighter, His opponent tonight, fighting from across the ring out of the blue corner of the evening, wearing the white trunks with the red trim, with a fight record of 17 wins, six losses, one draw, and 10, coming by way of knockout. Fighting out of Omaha, Nebraska. Give it up for Doug. Frank Aguilar is the referee. We spoke about Callaway's age, 37. Kalusa, 43 years old, DJ. Yes, uh, 43 years old, that's uh, something very interesting to point out. But one thing about the heavyweight division, age isn't always such an important number. Uh, we've seen uh, various uh, heavyweights of the past do well at an older age. George Foreman won a title at 44, I believe. Uh, Archie Moore, uh, many other guys who have had success in the heavyweight division. This division is about power. And you can look at Evander Holyfield right now. How old is Evander? He's 43 or 44, and he's still going strong. He just beat a Fresno Kendo who was uh, suspected to beat him, so uh, hats off to Evander. Callaway in the white and blue, Kalu's in the all white trunks. Cruiserweights. Scheduled for 10 rounds. This is unfinished business, presented by Titan Entertainment. Glad you're with us on Metro Sports. DJ Flores. 
Here's a weight prospect unbeaten at 17-0, and, and Stephen St. John unbeaten at 1-0. and Thank you. We are 18-0 and together, <laughs> and our record will continue to climb. Now, BJ, you mentioned that you also fought at heavyweight and, and moved back down to cruiserweight. You're a younger guy and a younger fighter. Easier to make weight. Uh, the fact that Rob's a little bit older, it's, it's got to be tough at this point to make the weight. Palooza's in big trouble. Tasted that combination. Fantastic body shot by a seasoned veteran, Rob Calloway. Beautiful left of the body, finished up with the right hand. Southpaw, the bread and butter punches the right hand. Look for that again from Rob Calloway. is still hurt. His head really snipped, snapped back, a real whiplash in fashion. Good body shot. Palooza just trying to hold on, smartly so. And like you said earlier in the night, BJ, the head shot sometimes you can take. What kills you is those body shots. Nothing, nothing hurts worse than a body shot. They will freeze you. You can't move, you can't get up, you can't do anything. The crowd wonders what happened, and uh, you're there sitting there with the referee holding up both hands with his, uh, waving his hands above his head, saying the fight's over, and you're wondering what happened. Palooza <laughs> has no answer for that left jab of Rob Calloway, just tasting it time and time again. Right hand misses by Calloway, thrown with bad intentions. It's a nice jab. If, if Rob will use that jab as a range finder, he's got one of the best jabs in boxing. Uh, especially the cruiserweight division. He used that tool so effectively to set up the right hand. Rob's got a big right hand, there it was. Good jab, beautiful. Rob can really do whatever he wants in this, in this fight. He can box and use the jab and, and show his skill, or I think he can get into a brawl and just get Cruz out of there. You see that Rob has found his range, and it looks like he can find Cruz when he walks there, it was. Another big right hand. Lose it down for the second time of this opening round. The right hand after the double jab to set it up. This fight's over, guys. And if it ain't, it should be. It will be the moment. No three knockdown rule in Missouri under the Unified Championship rules, but dare I say it, if Cruiser goes down one more time in round number one, Aguilar is not going to count. He's going to wave this fight over. Let me tell you something, 30 seconds is a long time if you're hurt and tired in that ring. That's a lifetime in there. Looks like Rob's letting him off the hook here, guys. I'd like to see Rob go in and close the show, but... Uh, Callaway quite possibly may win a few rounds. He doesn't feel bothered by anything that Calusa has in this bout in full control. Yeah, he can do whatever he wants in here, and if he wants to box and, and get some work in, he can certainly do that tonight. Yeah. Closing seconds, round number one. Good head movement, good jab by Rob Callaway. Great round. Calusa knocked down twice, but survives the first round. to the corner of Rob Calloway. That's real good. That's real good. Hey, look. When I want you to throw that long left hook. All I want you to do is play with him right here. I don't need your feet to move. Calloway is saying that he's feeling good. Why not be good? He looks fantastic in that first round. He went out and found his range. He landed the double jab. I think that's the first time we've seen it thrown tonight. The double jab sets up all kinds of different combinations off of that. He can come with a right hand. He can come with a left hook. But the, all the options are open for Rob Calloway. We'll see what he does in round two. In, in BJ, for a heavyweight, Rob doesn't have great power, but at cruiserweight, he has tremendous power. And of course, uh, my scorecard, I give that a 10-7. Two knockdowns, totally dominated. If the referee wanted to stop the fight, I wouldn't have argued after that second knockdown. So it's a rare occurrence when I go 10-7 in that uh, round. Absolutely, Steve. Two knockdowns, though the rule book says 10-7. You're exactly right on that. Steven, your scorecard presented by Guys. You agree with that then, 10-7? Absolutely. Whenever there's two knockdowns, you have to award the fighter who knocked the other fighter down a point each time. And uh, those war clean knockdowns. And Kalouza really did nothing to, to uh, counteract those knockdowns. And, and it was dominated by Rob. And, and as I said, uh, uh, Rob could basically do whatever he wanted in that first round. And he'll continue that in the second round. Of that. Round number two, Cruiserweight scheduled for 10. Callaway in full control. With the shimmy and the white and the blue trunks. But Palooza looking badly overmatched by Rob Calloway in the all-white trunks. Palooza just trying to again hold on. BJ, what realistically can Doug Calooza do in this bout? Well, Calooza being a southpaw, he's got some advantages. Uh, it's always tough uh, to fight a southpaw when you're an orthodox fighter. What he needs to be doing is he needs to be stepping right to Rob, looking to land that straight left hand, uh, keeping his foot outside of Rob's foot and set up his left hand and uh, put Rob in punching range of his left hand. And let's be honest, Palooza not using the jab, not really boxing, is loading up with that uh, left hand, and he's trying to get Rob Hurd to get him out of there with one lucky shot. That was low. Calloway never felt it. Palooza in big trouble once more. Down for the third time. You know, he didn't feel it, but it made him mad. You could tell Rob reacted to that low blow. 
with uh, a barrage of punches and Kaluza once again trying to beat the count. Kaluza's looking for a way out of this fight, guys. He doesn't, uh, seems like he's lost the will to fight. If Rob will come out and continue to hit him in the body, this fight will be over. Still a minute 30 left in the second round. How Cal much is enough for referee Frank Aguilar? Sometimes as the referee, you have to think if there's no chance of the other fighter winning, that's it. And that may be and it is with the right hand. Spectacular knockout by Callaway. TKO victory by Rob Callaway. Everything set up by the jab tonight by Callaway. Looked fantastic. Uh, landed the big right hands. Was very efficient. Good job. Good win. Nice bit of refereeing by Frank Aguilar. Not even going to count. Second knockdown of round number two. Fourth knockdown of this fight. <laughs> this really ended as we see in the replay, BJ. Pretty violent fashion. No need to count on that one, Sean. Slipped under, landed a great right uppercut to the body. Another chopping right hand over the top. And really just Callaway just letting his hands go here, just flurrying, looking for opportunities and uh, hitting Kluza back in the head here, but the ref didn't call it and uh, down he goes. Here we'll look at the second knockdown. Callaway just feeling no difficulty whatsoever. He's really showing his experience in there, Sean. Just so relaxed, so patient. Looked for his shots, stalked his guy down, and uh, ended the fight in spectacular fashion. Rob Calloway, his 58th victory as a professional and 46th knockout. Coming by way of TKO in the second round. When we return on Metro Sports, we'll hear the official decision. Rob Calloway will speak to Stephen St. John. You're watching Fight Night. This is Unfinished Business, presented by Titan Entertainment. Ladies and gentlemen, this bout has ended. One minute and 43 seconds of the second round. Your winner by knockout out of the red corner this evening. Give it up for Rob Calloway. Let's send it now up to the ring. Here's Stephen St. John with Rob Calloway. Here with the victorious Rob Calloway. Rob, uh, you've been at heavyweight. You fought tonight at cruiserweight. Uh, is that where you plan to stay at, at cruiserweight? Absolutely. I, uh, I uh, plan to stay at cruiserweight definitely for the year of 2007 because I want big things to happen next year. Um, I fought the best heavyweights out there, but um, I just can't get over those top five guys. They're just too big. You know, Jamil was a little too big, and um, Shigaev, I think, is the best out there besides Klitschko. So hopefully the, the cruiserweight division, I'll be able to um, – you know, walk through it and, and get to one of the top five guys and be one of them. How much longer would you like to fight? You know, my plan is, is to fight. I've always thought one of the fighting time 40. But, you know, I own a health club. I'm in great shape. I never get tired of fighting. I can fight all night. I don't party. I, I, I've been married for 15 years. My wife supports my career 100%. Um, I, I just live a clean life, and, I, and, and that's why I've been able to take my career so far. And I, I want to take it as far as I can. You know, it's been my dream to be a a world champion by one of the top three belts. You know, you, you know I've, I've beat, I've got all these other belts, but really I want one of the top three. Now, you talk about Cruiserweight, we've got a kid here uh, doing uh, color commentary, BJ Flores, who's also a Cruiserweight. Maybe somewhere down the road, might we see Callaway and Flores get in the ring together? I truly believe that BJ is the, the best Cruiserweight in the world. I truly believe that. He just, he's not, not won the championship yet. I think he will. Um, he's my close friend. I told BJ, if you ever get one of them titles, Give me the chance to have my retirement fight with you because I truly believe he's the best cruiserweight out there um, and I want to be one of the best and get one of the best. And then uh, if we can make a bunch of money for each other, we, know we should do it. Hopefully we can do it right here in Kansas City. That's right. All right thank, thank you very much. Congratulations, Rob. Back down to you, Sean. Thank you, guys.